Hi friends, welcome back to my channel where today I'm going to be playing with these two palettes. This is Hummingbird from Udenzai and this is High Tide from Colourpop. I'm going to be doing an anniversary video where I recreate a look from one year ago. I'll show you an inspiration picture from July of 2021. In that picture I only used the High Tide palette, but I didn't really want to go monochromatic today. I wanted to bring in a bit more of a pink purple element, so that's why I pulled out Hummingbird. If you would like to see how I did it, then don't go anywhere. If you're new to my channel, hey, my name's Rachel. I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom. I love to play with everything colourful. Colourful eyeshadow is one of the ways I enjoy expressing myself and I upload about three videos a week all eyeshadow related content so maybe you would like to consider liking and subscribing so that you don't miss any new videos all right so for my inspiration picture I used exclusively the high tide palette this is what I used a year ago I had just gotten it I was really excited about having a teal palette and this is really a nice palette it has a good range of light medium dark it has a lovely arrangement of shimmers and considering that it's monochromatic there are a lot of shade and tone options within the color however I don't really like monochromatic looks anymore on myself I find that I just feel like there are so many colors in the world I want to combine everything and so for me a monochromatic look is kind of lackluster even if it's amazing it's just sort of oh but it would have looked so good with you know this complimentary color so I actually want to bring in a little bit of purple I've got the hummingbird palette from Udenzai and I want to use this shade right here called fancy I have not used this shade very much. It's almost a two-tone, like in some lights, it's just a light lavender shimmer, and then in other lights, it looks much more lilac-y. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but, and then it has like a kind of a gold shift or fleck to it. So I think I'm gonna put that somewhere, probably the inner corner area and use it to complement the rest of the teal look. But this look is inspired by my July photo from a year ago. So let's get started by priming my eyes using the Glam Light Icing Primer in the shade White Frosted. I was watching a video yesterday by Angelica and she was talking about how she's been living in the United States for six months and here are some things that she's noticed that are different, you know, grocery stores, meal planning, drivers. <laughs> she did an eye look while she was talking. It was, a, it was a get ready with me, so she did a full face while she was talking, but the eye look she did was so pretty. Every eye look she does is so pretty. Every eye look she does is so pretty. What she did was she used her Hella palette from Udenzai and she used a light, warm, toned green and then a dark cool toned green and then she mixed it with a mint matte from the color pop in the springs palette and it was really beautiful now this is what i talk what i'm talking about when i talk about not quite understanding color angelica has said before that you can do an interesting monochromatic look by combining cool and warm tones within the same color so a cool toned green and a warm toned green will make a monochromatic look a lot more interesting but then she'll grab something like a mint, which is a cool tone blue, and it just works. And that's what I don't understand myself. I mean, it's, it's all well and good to experiment and play, and maybe that is the difference. Maybe you just need to experiment and play until you start to understand. So I think I'm, I'm getting there, but I'm not there yet. But what she did was beautiful, and I think I might recreate it in my next eye look. It was so pretty. Okay, I'm going to start in the High Tide palette. I haven't actually looked at this palette to plan out my look, honestly. At this point, this palette is more of a companion. I use it to accent other other eye looks. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. Well, within this teal palette, you have a couple of shades which are definitely more blue leaning, and then a couple of shades which are definitely more green leaning. I think I'm going to take the the dark bluer of the mattes. It's called Urchin, with a round eye blending brush from Elf, and I'm going to place this in my outer corner and work it a little bit in towards. Um, the inner corner. I'll just start at my outer corner and work it from there. So I definitely want to recreate Angie's look. I wanted to recreate it today, but I thought, oh, hey, you know, I need to get my anniversary video done before July is over because the, <laughs> that month is just sneaking away. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how fast it's going. It's just, it's going by quickly. We're traveling. We go on vacation next month. I'm filming this in the middle of July. We go on vacation in about four weeks. And I'm hoping to have content up for you guys that you won't really notice that I'm gone. But it's pretty surprising how quickly the time is going. With the same brush, I'm just going to color switch it quickly. Then I want to grab the darkest matte in the palette called Lunar. And I'm going to put this in a smaller space in the outer corner just to deepen up this outer area. I don't know if you watched my video where I told you what our summer plans were, but we're going to be going to uh, the state where we used to live, which is across the country, 
and will be there for a wedding and just to visit with family and friends. And on the way, we're going to be stopping in a totally different state for my husband's seminary orientation. So that's going to be a couple of days and then we'll carry on to the family wedding and it's going to be a nice trip. It's going to be fun. It's days and days of driving, <sighs> which I'm not really looking forward to, but it's, you know, if you go into a road trip like that, expecting it to take days, then you can make the most out of it and have fun. You don't know, do road trippy things like music and snacks. But if you go into it thinking you just want to get there, it's so long. It just takes forever. And I have to change my mindset about that, those trips, because they're, they're literally days of driving. It's long. There is a lot of kick up in this high tide palette, a lot of kick up. Um, a smaller and fluffier blending brush. I want to grab the shade Currents. And I'm going to put this right on the outer edge here buff it all out a bit. I'm looking forward to the trip. It's going to be so nice to see everyone. Since we moved away, we've gone back pretty much once a year. I think there might have been one year where we went back twice, but it's so far away. And I mean, it's not exactly affordable to travel these days between, okay, do we fly? Sure, that's expensive. Do we drive? Sure, that's expensive. Do we rent a car so we're not putting the wear and tear on our own car? Sure, but that's expensive. And with the used car market being rough right now, renting cars is just as expensive. And then of course you need insurance and you need to put gas and tolls. It's expensive. So it's been tricky since we live far, far away from everything. I'm also taking currents in the, on the same brush and dragging it down onto my lower lash line. I am just now realizing that I forgot to clean up the lash line from yesterday's eye look. I took a shower last night and brought some coconut oil into my shower and used that to clean off my eye makeup. But I always follow that up with um, a Q-tip to just like really clean out the very um, roots of the lashes. And last night I clearly forgot to do that. So that's not ideal. Something about this that I'm not loving. I don't know if it's the tones. I feel like it's looking kind of ashy. I don't know. Could be my lighting. I don't exactly have the best lighting. We'll see. Let's add some shimmer and brighten it up and see how it looks after that. I want to take the shade Free Floatin'. I'm going to use my finger for this and I'm going to put this on the center of the lid. Just the center, right over top of, yeah that's better, uh, right over top of the transition into the mattes and then work it a little bit towards the inner corner, but not too far, because I do want to put that purple shimmer in the inner area. This is a really pretty shimmer. The, the shimmers in this palette are quite nice. I go back and forth on whether or not I want to keep this high tide palette, because I don't really use it that often, but it does have some really good teal shades. However, maybe at this point I have good teal shades represented elsewhere in a smaller quantity in other palettes, which get used more often. For example, within the Hummingbird palette, there's this shade right here, called Tropics, and that's a lovely, essentially a teal shimmer. So if I ever want a teal shimmer, I'm more likely to grab the Hummingbird palette because I prefer the quality of those shimmers to ColourPop, and there's nothing wrong with ColourPop shimmers. ColourPop shimmers are nice. They're just not quite as nice as Udensai. Okay, I'm definitely liking it more now that I've put some shimmer on it because even if it were looking a, a bit ashy, the shimmer brings in a, a new level of brightness and metallic shine, which is very pretty. Now I'm gonna take a flat C or shader brush I'm gonna grab the shade in the Hummingbird palette called Fancy, and I'm gonna spray it as well. And Fancy, I'm going to put on my inner corner and merge it into that uh, teal mat that I laid, uh, teal shimmer that I laid down. I don't wanna overwhelm. I mean, after all, it is still a teal inspired look, but I wanted to bring in a different color because I love to play with color. I did not wanna do a monochromatic look today. So when I've got these two shimmers meeting, and it's purple and teal, I'm gonna flip over to the clean side of my brush and I'm just gonna go back and forth right on that line. Drag some of the purple onto the teal and then drag some of the teal onto the purple. And with the flat edge of this brush, I'm gonna grab more of Fancy, spray it again, and I'm gonna use that on the inner corner and to drag it to the, um, the inner corner lower lash line all the way until I meet that blue mat that I laid down before. Sorry if I keep putting the mirror in front of the camera. This is a smaller mirror, 
And I don't have my glasses on, so it's a little harder to see. I just keep dipping into the fancy shade. I want to build it up a little bit here. Sort of a saltwater taffy combination, isn't it? Like the seaside pinks and blues. All right, and now with a flat brush, I'm going to grab the shade Lunar again from the High Tide palette and place this right at the base of my lashes in the outer corner. My waterline, I'm going to take a ColourPop uh, creme gel liner. This is the shade Fluffy. It's a light pink. And this is going to bring out the pinky purpley tones of that Uden's Eye Shimmer. So I'm placing this on the whole waterline. There you go. That's the look. What do you think? Not show-stopping, but it's kind of cute, right? It's kind of cute. I'm going to go off camera and finish the, up the other side, do everything else I want to do today, and then I'll be back to show you the end result. All right, here is how it all turned out. I do like it after all. I think that part of the problem with me thinking it was looking a bit ashy was probably my lighting. Um, the sun was starting to come up and it might have thrown things off a little bit. But overall, I think it's pretty. It's not incredible, but it is pretty. On my cheeks, I'm wearing the shade No Vacancy in the uh, Super Shock Cheek. That is so hard for me to say. I always want to say Super Shock Chic. And I know that's not right. Super Shock Cheek. <laughs> Anyway, the shade No Vacancy, I did put that on as a blush, and then on my lips I'm wearing NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Peaches and Cream. I did a little bit of a winged eyeliner, but my baby started to wake up, and so I had to sort of hurry through that so I could light her down again. <laughs> and then I'm wearing a highlighter on my cheeks from BH Cosmetics. That is everything. That is the look inspired by last July. I did add the, uh, the pink purple element, but I think it's pretty and I like it. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I hope you liked the look as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to consider liking and subscribing if you'd want to see all of my uploaded content, and until I see you in my next video. I hope you have a great day. Bye!